Polyphemus was a mighty, one-eyed giant belonging to the Cyclopes family in Greek mythology. He was a large and magnificent being with an eye in the middle of his forehead. Polyphemus became the powerful leader of the second generation Cyclopes due to his immense strength and intelligence. In some Greek myths, Polyphemus is represented as a savage monster, while in others, he's characterized as a benevolent and witty being. According to the ancient cosmogonies, the Cyclopes were the sons of Uranus and G. They belonged to the Titans and were three in number, whose names were Argus, Steropes and Brontes, and each of them had only one eye on his forehead. Let's take a closer look at Polyphemus, the one-eyed legend. The myth of Polyphemus can be traced back to numerous cultures and traditions. One of the oldest versions of Polyphemus's story may have originated in Georgia. In this narrative, a one-eyed giant held a group of men hostage and they managed to free themselves by stabbing the captor in the eye with a wooden stake. This account was later adapted and reimagined by the Greeks as the myth of Polyphemus. According to the Greeks, a one-eyed giant named Polyphemus was born to the sea god Poseidon and Thusa. Polyphemus plays a minor role in Greek mythology, appearing in some myths. However, his most important role is as an antagonist of Odysseus and his men. The most popular incident of Polyphemus' life was the confrontation with Odysseus, the Trojan War hero. Odysseus and his soldiers accidentally strayed into the cave of Polyphemus without knowing to whom it belonged. Not wanting to give up a wholesome meal, Polyphemus sealed his cave with a rock trapping Odysseus and his soldiers inside. Polyphemus satiated his hunger by eating a few men every day, the giant was only stalled when the brave Odysseus handed him a strong cup of wine and got him drunk. Grateful for the gift, Polyphemus drank the spirit and promised a reward to the patron. But for this, Polyphemus had to know the brave soldier's name. Not wanting to give away his true identity, the intelligent Odysseus stated that he was called Nobody. Polyphemus then promised that he would eat this nobody at the very end. As Polyphemus fell into a deep slumber, Odysseus quickly acted, driving a wooden stake into his single eye. Polyphemus struggled and screamed that nobody was hurting him, but the other giants were confused and didn't understand him. So, they didn't come to his aid. After blinding the giant, Odysseus and his men escaped from the cave by clinging onto the underside of Polyphemus' sheep. When Odysseus reached his ship, he proudly revealed his original name. But this proved to be a grave mistake. Polyphemus asked his father Poseidon to punish Odysseus and his men for what they had done to him. Poseidon obliged by sending rough winds and making the journey back to Ithaca fraught with difficulties. And as a result of his encounter with Polyphemus, Odysseus and his men would end up wandering for years on the seas trying to find their way back to Ithaca. There is also another popular myth featuring Polyphemus, the story of Polyphemus and the sea nymph Galatea has been narrated by several poets and writers. While some writers describe their love as a success, others indicate that Polyphemus was rejected by Galatea. Irrespective of the love's success or failure, all these stories represent Polyphemus as an intelligent being who uses his musical skills to woo the beautiful sea nymph. This depiction of Polyphemus is starkly different from earlier poets, for whom he was nothing more than a savage beast. According to some narratives, Polyphemus's love is reciprocated by Galatea, and they overcome many challenges to be together. 
Galatea gives birth to Polyphemus' children, Galas, Cheltus, and Illyruis. The offspring of Polyphemus and Galatea are believed to be distant ancestors of the Celts. Contemporary writers have added a new twist to the Polyphemus and Galatea love story. According to them, Galatea could never return Polyphemus' love, as her heart belonged to another man, Asis. Polyphemus killed Asis out of jealousy and rage. Asis was then turned by Galatea into a spirit of the Sicilian river. Although there are several contradictory narratives on the love between Polyphemus and Galatea, it can certainly be said that the giant was reimagined and reinterpreted in these stories. Polyphemus has been represented in diverse ways in sculptures, paintings, movies and art. Some artists have shown him as a terrifying monster and others as a benevolent being. Painter Guido Reni visualized the violent side of Polyphemus in his art piece Polyphemus. Contrarily, J.M.W. Turner depicted Polyphemus as a small and defeated figure. In his painting, Ulysses deriding Polyphemus, Ulysses being the Roman equivalent for Odysseus. While paintings showed the emotional turmoil of Polyphemus, frescoes and murals dealt with a different aspect of his life. In a fresco in Pompeii, Polyphemus is depicted with a winged Cupid who hands him a love letter from Galatea. Additionally, in another fresco, Polyphemus and Galatea are shown as lovers in a tight embrace. There are also several movies and films which depict the confrontation between Polyphemus and Odysseus such as Ulysses and the giant Polyphemus, directed by Georges Méliès, and the film Ulysses, based on Homer's epic. The myth of Polyphemus is a popular story, gaining prominence after its appearance in Book 9 of Homer's Odyssey. While the accounts of Polyphemus vary in today's world, he continues to be an inspiration for several modern writers and artists.